Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial and the solution of first problem from exercise 2.2 from NCRT. Uh, let the zeros of the quadratic polynomial be alpha and beta and we know that a quadratic polynomial is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. So for, for example if you take 6x square minus 7x minus 3 this is a quadratic polynomial here a is equal to 6 and b is equal to minus 7 and c is equal to minus 3. We know that uh, we will get 0 so alpha and beta if p of x is equal to 0. Therefore 6x square minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. If you split the middle term then you will get 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then you will get x is equal to minus 1 by 3 or x is equal to 3 by 2. So here alpha is equal to minus 1 by 3 or beta is equal to 3 by 2. These are the zeros of this polynomial. If you add these two zeros that is sum of zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 3 by 2 that is equal to 7 by 6. And minus coefficient of x. So here minus coefficient of x. Coefficient of x is minus 7 that is b. So minus coefficient of x is minus b by coefficient of x square is a. So minus b by a that is minus of minus 7. Here minus b is minus of minus 7 by a is 6. So by 6 that is equal to 7 by 6. So sum of zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Similarly, product of zeros alpha beta is equal to minus 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 that is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, constant term here is equal to c, here constant term is c by coefficient of x square that is uh, a, c by a is equal to here c is minus 3 by a is 6. So, minus 3 by 6 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So, these two are equal. Therefore, product of zeros is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. This is another example 3x square plus 20x plus 12. Here a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 20 and c is equal to 12. So if you factorize this polynomial then you will get the zeros are minus 6 or minus 2 by 3. So if you add all the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to minus 6 minus 2 by 3 that is minus 20 by 3. So this is uh, nothing but minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square minus b by a. See here this is minus b that is minus 20 by a is 3. Similarly, if you uh, multiply these two zeros, product of its zeros, that is minus 6 into minus 2 by 3, that is equal to 4. So, that is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. Here, constant term is 12 by coefficient of x square is 3. So, that is equal to 4. So, alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Therefore, we can say that sum of its zeros is equal to alpha plus beta, that is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square that is equal to minus p by a and the product of its zeros is equal to alpha beta that is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square that is equal to c by a. Now I am going to tell the solution of first problem from exercise 2.2 from NCRT. Find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So the first polynomial here is p of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8. So you have to factorize this uh, polynomial. Further you have to split the middle term. So here middle term is minus 2x. You have to assume two numbers. Uh, if you multiply those numbers you should get 1 into minus 8 that is minus 8. And if you add those numbers you should get minus 2. So for that you have to factors of 8 you have to write that those are 1, 2, 4, 8. From these factors you can choose any two numbers. If you add those two numbers you should get minus 2 and if you multiply those two numbers you should get minus 8. Those numbers are minus 4 and 2. So x square this you can write as x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. Then from these two terms x is common so x into x minus 4 plus these two terms 2 is common so 2 into x minus 4. Again from these two terms x minus 4 is common so x minus 4 into here x plus 2. So p of x is equal to x minus 4 into x plus 2. Here you have to find the zeros of this polynomial. So for that if f of x is equal to sorry p of x is equal to 0 then x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2. Therefore zeros of the polynomial are 4 or minus 2. 
now we have to verify the relationship between zeros and the coefficients so sum of its zeros is equal to 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 that is equal to alpha plus beta that is 4 minus 2 that is equal to 2 so this you have to show minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x squared so that is minus b by a for that you have to write a b c values here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 c is equal to minus 8 so here minus b that is minus of minus b b is minus 2 by a is 1 so by 1 so this is equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square therefore sum of its zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square hence verified and product of its zeros is equal to 4 into minus 2 that is minus 8 that is c by a so c here is minus 8 by 1 so this you can write as minus 8 by 1 that is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square hence verified next to polynomial is 4s square minus 4s plus 1 this you have to factorize for that you have to split the middle term that is minus 4s so here uh, 4 into 1 that is 4 factors of 4 are 1 2 4 so minus 4 you can write as minus 2 minus 2 and 4 you can write as minus 2 into minus 2 that is 4 so you have to take minus 2 and minus 2 so 4s square minus 2s minus 2s plus 1 that is 2s into 2s minus 1 minus 1 here 2s plus 1 so only 1 is common so minus 1 into 2s here plus 1 because here minus is there so minus into minus plus so minus 1 into minus 1 so here again 2s minus 1 is common so 2s minus 1 into here 2s minus 1 if p of s is equal to 0 then 2s minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2s minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore s is equal to 1 by 2 or 1 by 2 therefore zeros of this polynomial are 1 by 2 or 1 by 2 now sum of its zeros is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 2 by 2 that is equal to 1 you have to write 1 as minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square that is minus b by a so here minus p is minus of minus 4 so write here minus of minus 4 by here a is 4 so 4 that is equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square so minus of minus 4 by 4 is 1 so sum of its zeros is equal to minus b by a next product of its zeros is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 so here uh, 1 is c c is equal to 1 and a is equal to 4 so c by a so this is equal to c by a so product of its zeros is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square next to polynomial is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x this is not in the standard form you have to write in the standard form that is highest degree to lowest degree of the variable so 6x square minus 7x minus 3 this is the standard form now you have to factorize this polynomial 6 into minus 3 that is minus 18 so factors of 18 are 1 2 3 6 9 18 out of these factors you can choose any two factors if you add those two factors you should get minus 7 and if you multiply those two factors you should get minus 18 those are minus 9 and 2 so 6x square minus 7x you can write as minus 9x plus 2x minus 3 then you will get 2x minus 3 into 3x plus 1 then x is equal to 3 by 2 or x is equal to minus 1 by 3 therefore zeros of this polynomial are 3 by 2 or minus 1 by 3 then write a is equal to 6 b is equal to minus 7 a is equal to 6 and b is equal to minus 7 here and c is equal to minus 3 now verify sum of its zeros is equal to 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 that is 7 by 6 so 7 by 6 you have to write as minus b by a so here minus b is minus of minus 7 by a is 6 so minus of minus 7 by 6 is uh, 7 by 6 this is equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square now product of its zeros is equal to minus 1 by 2 so that is equal to c by a so here c is minus 3 by a is equal to 6 so minus 3 by 6 is nothing but minus 1 by 2 so here this is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square next one is 4u square plus 8u so here 4u is common so take out 4u that is uh, 4u into u plus 2 so this you can write as 4u into u plus 2 if p of u is equal to 0 then 4u is equal to 0 or u plus 2 is equal to 0 therefore u is equal to 0 or u is equal to minus 2 these are the zeros of this polynomial 0 or minus 2 then verify sum of its zeros is equal to 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 so this you have to write 
as minus b by a so here a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 8 and c is equal to 0 there is no constant term here so c is equal to 0 so this you can write as minus 8 so minus b means minus 8 by a is equal to 4 so minus 8 by 4 is nothing but minus 2 therefore that is equal to minus coefficient of x this is minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square similarly product of zeros is equal to product of its zeros is equal to 0 into minus 2 that is 0 so this you have to write uh, in the form of c by a so c here is 0 0 by a is 4 so this is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square this is fifth problem uh, t square minus 15 this polynomial is t square minus 15 so this you can write as t square minus of root of 15 whole square so root of 15 whole square is 15 so this is in the form of a square minus b square you can uh, apply this identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b therefore this you can write as t plus root 15 into t minus root 15 here a is t and uh, b is root 15 so if p of t is equal to 0 t is equal to minus root 15 or t is equal to root 15 therefore these are the zeros of the polynomials root 15 or minus root 15 then verify here sum of its zeros is equal to root 15 minus root 15 that is 0 that is equal to minus b by a here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 there is no b term so c is equal to minus 15 so minus b by a here is 0 by minus 0 by 1 that is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square next one is product of its zeros is equal to root 15 into minus root 15 that is equal to minus 15 so this you have to write uh, in the form of c by a so here c is minus 15 by a is 1 so that is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square this is sixth one 3x square minus x minus 4 so here 3 into minus 4 that is minus 12 so factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 12 you have to choose any two factors here 3 and 4 so if you add minus 4 plus 3 that is minus 1 and minus 4 into 3 is minus 12 so 3x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 4 minus x you can write as minus 4x plus 3x then you will get the factors 3x minus 4 into x plus 1 therefore x is equal to 4 by 3 or x is equal to minus 1 these are the zeros of the of this polynomial 4 by 3 or minus 1 now a is equal to 3 here a is equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 4 then sum of its zeros is equal to 4 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 by 3 so minus b by a that is minus of minus 1 by 3 that is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square then products of its zeros is equal to 4 by 3 into minus 1 that is minus 4 by 3 so here minus 4 by 3 is c by a so that is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square now please do this practice worksheet And uh, here are the answers.